apparently my computer just wants to act up like a like a two-year-old brat didn't get his way no I don't know what is going on. Come on. Let me open Crystal Disk. It's a tool I use. If I can get it to open, I'll, sh I'll show you what it does. It works on any version of Windows XP or higher. Screen just turned white. Brilliant. Quit it. This computer's acting like a real dumbass. Empty recycle bin. Oh, hey. My computer is glitching like a sick person having a seizure. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you.
Sorry about that. Oh my god. My computer is acting like a two-year-old who didn't get his way. Um, I have a 60, fuck's sake, really? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why. I mean... I mean... This is what I hate about Windows. I mean, it worked before. It's either the computer's keeping it from. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Health status, good. Well, it isn't acting very good. But... 38 degrees Celsius. Not bad at all. Now you... Some... Sometimes your computer is... Not in good health, so you gotta be careful what you what you're doing on online. Mine says thirty eight degrees Celsius, which is not bad. I haven't gotten any sleep last night.
Well, mine says 38 degrees Celsius and 85% health status, which, which yours may or may not be different. Another reason why it could be is the hardware is probably dusty or dirty and needs to be cleaned. I really don't know how to clean a laptop hardware if that's even possible. All right. Another reason is your storage space could be almost at zero space. Like again, like, 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 like I said before, be careful what you're doing on the internet. You could be hit with ransomware. Ransomware it encrypts all your data until you until you pay a certain fee it's a scam and makes your it could make your machine not bootable Ransomware is a type of malware from cryptobrology. Well, I don't know how you pronounce that. That threatens to publish the victim's data or perpetually block access to it unless a ransom is paid. It's a scam, basically, that locks your, locks your entire computer and encrypts all your data. While some simple ransomware may lock the system in a way which is not difficult for a knowledgeable person to reverse, did I say person of person? Who cares? More advanced malware uses a technique called crypto viral extortion in which it encrypts the victim's files making them inaccessible and demands a ransom payment to decrypt them in a properly implemented crypto viral extortion attack recovering the files without the decryption keys an intractable problem and difficult to trace digital currencies such as ucash or bitcoin other cryptocurrency are used for the ransoms in tracing and prosecuting the perpetrators difficult ransomware attacks are typically carried out using a trojan that is disguised as a legitimate file 
highlighting the words legitimate file because it's not a legitimate file. That the user is tricked into downloading or opening. I'm highlighting those words. When it arrives as an email attachment. I remember one high profile example, the WannaCry worm, traveled automatically between computers without in user interaction. Starting from around 2012, the use of ransomware scams. Highlighting that because ransomware is scam is a scam has grown internationally. There were 181.5 million ransomware attacks in the first six months of 2018. This marks a 229% increase over the same time frame in 2017. In June 2014, Fender McAfee released data showing that it had collected more than double the number of samples of ransomware that quarter than it had in the same quarter of the previous year, CryptoLocker was particularly successful, procuring an estimate an estimated three USD million before it was taken down by authorities. CryptoWall was estimated by the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigations. The Bureau of Investigations. To have occurred over 18 USD million by June 2015. I'm not going to read all that. I don't want to bore you guys. Before you get hit with ransomware, keep backups of your data in case you do, and create a restore point. Or if you have to, just install just reinstall Windows. You could be hit with all kinds of viruses. There's a reason why you're slowing down. Or glitching an update. There's a number of things, but I'm not going to list them all. Age can also play a big factor on how broken the computer is. Why is my browser running slow? Hmm, ask, ask her. Good question. Myself? It's not your business who I talk to. Anyway. Sorry about that.
Well, why is my browser running slow? Good question, Asker. Well, you could be opening... You may have too many tabs opened. And it lags and gets slower. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. When... And stuff like this happens. I mean, don't open too many browsers at once. If you need to, if you need to, re if you need to, you could pay a professional to fix your computer. I mean, don't be, if you don't know what you're doing, try not to mess with any settings. Have a professional look at it. Try to mess with any parts or settings. Because that could, if you don't know what you're doing, that could damage your, damage or destroy your computer even more. So yeah. If you want, you can check out my YouTube channel from for more videos that I've done. I will be doing a contest. Whichever Pokemon, whichever, whoever replies, whoever leaves a video response of a drawing of a, I mean, drawn on paper of it, of any Pokemon and and amazes me the most. I will, sh I will shout out that person's name. Yeah. So, in a contest, you may get lucky, or you may fail. I mean, there are
There are ways to have a good contest. Well, check out my other videos. Do the contest if you want. Hopefully you do the best in the contest, and I wish you all luck. First place winner will, re will receive a big shout out and thanks. Well, thank you for watching. Goodbye.